Greetings. Today is Thursday, August 14, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. Here at Hurricane Info, we continue to closely monitor the evolution of Tropical Storm Aaron, which will be passing just northeast of the Caribbean this weekend. If you'd like details about this forecast, I invite you to watch a video I recorded earlier this morning. However, in this video I want to talk about the newly designated Invest 98, which is associated with a low-pressure system and a tropical wave located over the Bay of Campeche, with chances of tropical development as it moves northwest. If we zoom in on the infrared satellite animation of the Gulf of Mexico, we can see how Invest 98 has generated areas of convection and thunderstorms over the Bay of Campeche. This is related to a tropical wave that crossed over Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula yesterday. Conditions may be marginally favorable for some tropical organization as it approaches northern Tamaulipas or southern Texas. This disturbance will continue moving over sea surface temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius. This is why the National Hurricane Center is maintaining a 20% chance of tropical development over the next 24 to 36 hours. And although it won't have enough time to strengthen much, we cannot rule out the possibility that a tropical depression or weak tropical storm may form before making landfall in southern Texas or northern Tamaulipas. Track specialized models have good consensus that it will keep moving entirely toward the northwest over the next 36 hours until it eventually moves inland. Since it will only spend about 36 hours over Gulf waters, intensity specialized model projections all keep it as a low pressure area without significant strengthening. Looking at some global model projections, here we have the European model, which in its latest run develops a more defined low pressure system that could generate some wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour affecting coastal areas of southern Texas. Although the European model is the one that deepens this low the most, the reality is that in the worst case scenario it would just be a tropical depression moving over southern Texas. The other model projecting some cyclonic organization is the German model, which, like the European, has a more defined low entering southern Texas between Friday and Saturday, but without achieving significant development, although some gusts between 30 and 35 miles per hour could affect coastal areas between Corpus Christi and Matamoros. Development chances should remain low since none of the American model's ensemble members project the formation of a tropical depression, although some members of the European model do show a tropical depression or weak tropical storm forming before landfall over northern Tamaulipas. However, this represents only about 10-20% to of the European model's members, which is in line with the National Hurricane Center's tropical outlook that keeps development chances at just 20%. So realistically, Invest 98 does not appear likely to cause major issues in northern Tamaulipas or southern Texas, although these areas could still experience breezy coastal conditions along with an increase in humidity and rainfall. The models do not show significant rainfall totals. Well, that's all for this update on Invest 98. I'll continue to monitor its progress, and if there are any changes to this forecast, I'll record another video. Before I go, I'd like to ask you to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notifications whenever I post new videos. With that, I'll say goodbye for now. See you later.